As you know that we are discussing the types of movement and in this video I will tell you that what is the head movement. When we move toward our lecture I want to tell you that all the viewers that if you are new in our channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and linguistics. And before moving toward our lecture you should know that what is the core property of every categories every poor reaction when any word is drawn from the lexicon what is the structure of this particular word in all languages you should know what this is this this phenomena let's see first <clears throat> this is the reaction of vp this is the reaction of ip and this is the reaction of cp and what is the similarity within all these diagram, all these representation, all these projection? One crucial property is that all these categories, all these projection bear some head. The head V, it projects. The head I, it projects. The head C, it projects. And these head must project at the maximal level and that level is the last level of the projection. <clears throat> and in this diagram we have said that every category have some heads. Either the category is lexical category or the functional categories. All the category must bear some head. One option is that for a head heads may be null head can be phonetically null but the position of head is this the v head the i head the c head <clears throat> and this head operates within the language and in this way we can construct the fully grammatical structure in the languages and if one head moves from this head or this head move from this position head position or this head move from this head position this is also called the head to head movement because the one head is moving from its position and taking the position of another head this is the head to head movement if this is moving from this position and takes another head position this is also called the head to head movement because head is being occupied the same head position on the other categories and let's see we have the two examples in this lecture one is the simple example and the second is the interrogative example and in these two example we can we want to show you that the movement of head how head moves what is the movement of head either the head is moving lower level or the head is moving from towards the upper level and let's see we have the two sentences the first sentence is our the declarative sentence and this sentence is he learns the lesson in this sentence we have the verb that for your convenience I have drawn this diagram and this is specifically is telling you that how the head movement is operating. This position is the head position. Head takes DP as a complement and construct the VP. And this is the argument position of the specifier. And in this position we have the he. And we have constructed the our argument structure that is he learned the lesson. What is the problem? The problem is that two problems. One, this is the unmarked verb. Second, this is the caseless DP. The this DP has not been assigned the case. This requires some case and this, this requires some tense feature. For this, we have another layer that is the IP layer. And if we construct the IP layer within the IP layer, layer we have the head one that is the i head at this position this bear the 
टेंस फीचर एंड एट दिस दिस इज द प्रेजेंट टेंस एंड वी हैव द अपोस्ट्रॉफी एस और ई एस विद इन द लैंग्वेजेस एंड दिस इज द हेड एंड दिस इज आल्सो द हेड एंड दिस हेड इज द वीक हेड एंड दिस इज द स्ट्रांग हेड दिस हेड मूव्स फ्रॉम दिस हेड पोजीशन एंड अटैचेस टू द अदर हेड पोजीशन टू द वर्ब दिस इज द covert head to head movement mean this is the covert lower head to head movement and this is the a position movement i have already told you that this is the a movement a and argument movement because this is the argument position and this is also the argument position one argument is moving from its place and into the other argument place and in this way one head is moving from its place and taking to the other head place this is the head to head movement then the simple sentence and if we want to draw the interrogative sentence what will be the structure of the interrogative sentence and what will be the movement of this head see we have the same sentence he learn the lesson similar way just like a similar way we can construct the vp layer dp dp and v what is the problem this is the v and this is the this is the head this is the head v head i head the sentence is a interrogative sentence because the c has the strong q feature for the strong q feature and this is also the head and for strong feature this head triggers the lower head then the c command domain within this domain we have the one node this is the condition when head movement is being applied head movement cannot cross the one more than one node this is the one node head is crossing only one node if this head moving from this position head is only crossing the one node because this is the constraint this is the restriction on the head movement if we want to move the head position to the other head position for constructing the sentence we must know that we have the condition that is the c commanding condition what is the c commanding condition c commanding condition states that the head only cross the one node this is the one node if head is moving from this place to the c place the head only crossing the one node if this head is moving from this place to this place the head can only cross the one node this is the constraint this is the restriction and if this head move from this head position because q is the strong feature and it takes the lower head at its head position in this way c mark this sentence as the interrogative sentence and this is the structure of our sentence and this movement is called the overt movement because this is the overt movement and this is the covert movement and if we want to construct the interrogative sentence our movement will be the overt movement and if we want to construct the simple sentence our movement is the covert movement and if you are new in our channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and linguistics